Why is it that so many of our Christian churches still hold sacred a physical image of a blue-eyed, blonde-haired man on their church walls, when indeed it only promotes the passerbyers seeking truth uh, and our young generation that this is, in fact, a visual image? I can handle it from there. It, and thank you, Pastor. It is a long question. And again, someone is concerned about the image or representation of Christ in art. Now, we dealt with this the other night. I don't know what you want him to be. And when you say you are seeking truth, then what are you seeking? Do you want a red Christ or a black Christ or a purple Christ? And until you find the one you want, you have not found truth? Truth is that he was the Son of God. Would somebody say amen out there? Doesn't matter what he looks like. He was the Son of God, and if God had wanted us to know, he would have told us. Now, I happen to look at this one, and there's some reference to Revelation where it speaks of his eyes as burning flames, his hair as pure wool, his feet as burnished brass. This is not the Christ that walked the dusty roads. Now, understand what I'm saying. This is the glorified Christ. It's the same one. But it's the one who has gone to glory to be glorified with his Father as he was before the world was made. And therefore, John didn't know him. Would you say amen out there? Amen. But it isn't required. He was not black. He was not Spanish. He was not Chinese. He was Jewish. And Jews in those days were olive complexion with brown eyes. I really, honestly, don't know what difference that makes. Truth is, he was the Savior of the world. And if you miss that, you have missed heaven.